Well, hey there, hobby homesteaders. Welcome back to Peaks Peak. Today, we've got another tool to review for you. Now guys, you know, in the summertime, I spend most of my time working outside, working on the property. And so if I'm in the shop, it's usually because something's broken and needs fixed. And I'm in here just long enough to get it fixed and I'm back out to work. The winter time is when I spend my time in the shop working on projects and my truck and, you know, piddling around in the shop. But I had a company reach out to me with their plasma cutter, wanting us to do a review on it. And this is the Autogen 55 amp plasma cutter. And they claim that this will clean cut half inch steel. We're gonna find out. The thing about Autogen, they actually reached out to me a while back and they sent us a car jump starter. And I shared that with you, the fact that it was able to start my diesel truck with no batteries installed at all. All right, try it. <laughs> And that impressed me enough that I felt like we needed to see this plasma cutter in action. This is a very affordable plasma cutter. If you want a hobby plasma cutter for your shop, under $250, you can be set up in a plasma cutter that will work on 110 or 220. And it comes with basically everything you need to plug it up and start cutting metal. So it comes with your air pressure regulator, your ground cables, your plasma torch. It comes with a 110 outlet and a converter to plug it in so that you can run it off of 220. And in addition, it comes with hoses, extra tips, and even a little kind of disposable, you know, shield that you can use until you get yourself a proper pair of plasma cutting glasses or helmet. Now, I pulled this thing out of the box, put everything together real quick because nobody wants to just watch somebody pull stuff out of the box, right? The one thing I noticed was the pressure regulator on it comes with this little you know, like barbed nipple and a hose. Well, I don't know any of us that have an air compressor that we're gonna hook onto something like that. So what I did instead was got me a quick connect mail fitting and put it in that pressure regulator. That way I can just take my air hose and plug it directly into it when I'm using it. And so I had no need for this hose and this barb fitting. We've got a couple of things that we're gonna test cut with. And I was looking around here for some good scrap steel for us to do some testing on. And I know some things that I've tried to cut with my other plasma cutter that it struggled to cut cleanly. So I've got two pieces to test on. And we're gonna start out a little bit thin with some 5 16 steel. And these are actually rototiller tines that, if you can't tell by looking at that, are completely wore out. So I have about 96 of these. So we kind of keep this kind of scrap laying around just because you never know when you're gonna need to patch something up. And, and we've used all kinds of these, chopped them off and used them for patches and repairs on implements and things like that. But often we have to cut this material. So we're gonna start out with this. I think we'll have no problems with this at all. The next thing that we are going to cut, and it's not gonna be a big long cut, but we are going to test it, cutting a railroad spike which is actually a little bit thicker than a half inch. And it says that this will actually cut, um, it's actually in metric, so I, I think it was 17 millimeters thickness. I don't know that I would want to push it that far, but we'll find out just how strong it is. But we're gonna, we're gonna start out with this half inch railroad spike. Let's see, I got a tape here somewhere. Yeah, so our railroad spike measures 5 eighths of an inch. So we are going to cut this 5 eighths inch steel and see how clean we can cut it. It's not a long cut, so I think we probably should be able to handle this if they're gonna advertise it'll cut half inch. Let's find out. We are going to start our first cut on 40 amps. We're set at 50 PSI. We actually could probably go down to about 40. We'll, go, we'll set it on 40. Now guys, I'm gonna tell you straight up, this is the very first cut I've made with this machine. In fact, testing my air pressure is the first time that I figured out that when you pull the trigger, it turns the pressure on. You gotta pull it again to shut it off. So, a little bit different than what I'm used to, but we're gonna see, see what we can do with it. I am gonna wear some gloves and some glasses. All right, let's see what she's got. Wow, look at that, first cut. And guys, I ain't gonna lie, and I'm, I'm not experienced at this. I mean, my cut, my cut, you can see, I cut it at an angle, but 
I've got a plasma cutter. I've done a little bit of cutting with it. And this is far and away cleaner than the other machine that I'm using. I'm actually really surprised at that. Let's cut the, cut the thick stuff. We'll set, her, we'll set her on 55 and 55 PSI. All right, here we go. First shot. Are you kidding me? I mean, if I had some technique, this thing would be do the business. That's, that's an ugly cut, but it had no problems at all. And I didn't even have to go that slow. I kind of want to cut it again. 55 amps, 55 PSI. Look at that. <laughs> that is pretty cool. So guys, that last cut, I took this railroad spike and I cut right down the center of it and just cut a chunk out of it. So I was cutting five eighths inch thick and I mean, I was able to move at a fairly good pace, and even though I have no skill, make a fairly decent cut. I mean, for $249, give or take, depending on you know what the prices are doing, up or down, but man, great to have in your shop. No question about it. I'm just impressed with the kind of product that you can turn out of such an inexpensive machine. I really wasn't expecting that. Honestly, you know, for the price point, I was kind of expecting to be able to make some cuts, but in, you know, this little stuff that I'm used to cutting with my other plasma cutter, the 516 stuff. But this was a whole new ball game, so I'm pretty happy with it. So folks, if you own a shop and an air compressor and you don't have a plasma cutter, this is definitely a viable option. There's no reason to not own one now because for $249, this will do the business. The Autogen 55 amp plasma cutter. I'll put a link down in the description where you can pick this up off of Amazon along with a nice set of gloves and Hobart glasses. So you'll be ready to go. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good day.